Hey everyone, welcome and thanks for joining me for episode 17 of my Shrewsbury Town career on FM16. We start with a job offer from MK Dons. Yeah, not going to happen. Why would I go for an interview? Why would I want to uh, switch teams at such an important time in this save? I mean, we're in the championship, we're doing really well at the moment. Plus, I don't want to do... And I don't want to make that same mistake as I did with my QPR save from FM15 where I was the manager at QPR for a year and a half and then moved to Manchester United. Yes, the offer was brilliant, but I never had a sense of achievement really. Okay, I won the FA Cup in my first season. That was fantastic. But then the year after, I never took it any further than that really because the offer of going to Manchester United was just too good and it was starting things over again. Whereas with this save, with Shrewsbury, things are different. I'm going to be sticking it out with town. And hopefully I can have a long and successful career here. I mean, my main aim when I first started this save was to get Shrewsbury into that top flight of English football, competing for the Premier League title. I mean, what an achievement that would be. Obviously, it's going into unknown territory for Shrewsbury as they've never won it before. But I'll tell you what, we're making some fantastic progress at the moment. We're just about to head into the end of September and we've been like a breath of fresh air here in the Championship. We've already made a statement in the league. We've put our own stamp on it as we've already beaten two teams that were in the Premier League last season in Watford and Sunderland. And they weren't just smash and grab 1-0 wins. We outclassed Watford with a 3-1 win there. And we absolutely annihilated Sunderland, beating them 5-2. Shame we had to concede those two goals, but we were 5-0 up at half-time. Doesn't get any better than that. And up next, we've got West Brom in the Capital One Cup. When I saw the fixture list at the start of the season with those three games bunched together within a week, I was a bit hesitant really towards our chances in, in getting results there. But you know what? We've done so well, and I'm really feeling confident heading into this Capital One Cup fixture against the Baggers. Oh, getting the feels now. Shrewsbury face West Brom. Oh, man, this is going to be so awesome. Uh, Barnett have come in with a loan offer for Mavoto. Okay, I'm happy to send him that. He'll uh, certainly get some first-team football there. Anderson out for five to six days. Three players named in the team of the week. Collins, Clark, Cole. Brilliant. After that brilliant performance against Sunderland. Let's keep pushing on here. What a difficult test we have coming up as well after this game against West Brom in that game against Brentford. They are in seventh though, but they are a difficult side. We will be coming up against former Shrewsbury man Ryan Woods. Shame we had to get rid of him in real life. What a talent he is going to be. Still at that young age where he's got bags of potential. And here we go. Team selection. Okay, let's have a look at West Brom. They've got three players out injured. Let's have a look at their recent results. Won their last game against Forest, 3-2 there. They lost against Fulham. We've got them coming up soon. But apart from that, they've been doing okay. Lost two games in a row there against Cardiff and Hall. And in their team, they've got Juan Fran. His former Atletico Madrid player, isn't he? James Chester, Johnny Evans, Ben Foster. Going to be difficult to put something past him. Cameron Jerome. Who else? They've got Ricky Lambert. He's out injured. Jakob's out injured as well. It's not really a dent in their side though, is it? I mean, they've got a solid midfield that's, I think, going to be tricky to break down. Darren Fletcher, heaps of experience. They've got Chris Brunt and Charlie Adam, who's such a physical player. He's not afraid to get stuck in with a challenge. We've just got to go for it. Go for the jugular. And if we can turn it on, there may be a good result. He's on the cards for town. We're playing at home as well. Nice to see Adam Reach available for selection. I will put him on the bench though. Could probably bring him on for a couple of minutes towards the end. But it's a shame that Knight Percival wasn't back in time for this game. We could have done with him. But we're just going to have to make do with Ellis at the back. West Brom considered favourites. Kind of to be expected. They reckon that West Brom have enough about themselves to secure them victory here today. Secure place in the next round. Brunt, Adam, Fletcher, Wanfran, what a midfield that is for the Baggers. Are we going to struggle today? Come on, lads. Let's have a good performance. Try and keep everyone happy. Motivated. Let's do this. Let's get through to the fourth round. We're taking that momentum. 
that we picked up against Watford and Sunderland into this game. Maybe that will be the deciding factor for today. Oh, Cole Collins, yes! Only 26 seconds have passed. We're already in the lead against West Brom. Unbelievable. This is what I mean. This is a start we needed to get into the, the face of the opposition and show that we're not afraid. And it was a bit of good fortune there for Shrewsbury Town. Pocanoli coming in. Defended well initially. He was hoping that Ben Foster or any of his other teammates at the back was going to clear the danger. But it was a real poacher's goal from James Collins who's always in the right place at the right time. Waiting to take advantage of mistakes made. And that's exactly what's happened here as West Brom find themselves trailing at the Greenhouse Meadow. 26 seconds gone against Shrewsbury Town. What a start. It's brilliant. We're showing no fear at all against a team that were in the Premier League last season. You know, on paper, looking at West Brom's team, you would think that it would be them getting the first goal in the 26th second. But who knows, maybe because they've had such a good start to life in the Championship, they were overconfident starting this game and they just lacked that concentration at the back and it really did cost them. Here's Adam now in a bit of space. He's looking for Jerome on the edge of the area, but we managed to clear it here and we're on the move again with Williams getting closed down so quickly. But we've still got possession. Clark. Ah, oh, Williams getting cut out there by Wanfran. It's on for Jerome. Campbell bags of pace. Oh! He's made it 1-1. Come on, Lou Eiler. You should not be getting beaten from there. That's an incredible goal, to be fair. Campbell just picking out that top right-hand corner. And making it look easy. Look at that. It's about 30 odd yards out. Whew. It's a good finish. Just before the break as well. So it's 1 1 at half time. When we probably could have got a second. Looking at the stats there, we've had two on target. And six chances overall. That's good play. Can we make it 2 1 before half time? Ooh, he's just looking at Cole on that far post. This is good build at play. Oh, Wezzo losing out to Fletcher. No, 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 no. Luke Weiler, thank you. I thought he was going to stay in goal there. Black through. Have a go. He does. He hits the crossbar. And it's Pocanoli mopping up and clearing that one out for a throw for Town. That's going to be half time. Wow. Back and forth. End to end action here at the greenhouse if we could get a goal I make his favourites to win go out there and make it happen no I'm going to be assertive I think and say that yep come on lads I think we can we've got West Brom in the palm of our hands here just have to be careful of those darting runs by Campbell if he gets the ball at his feet he's going to be uh, making those penetrating runs through our defence we have to be be concentrating really we have to keep an eye on him Fletcher can always pick out a good pass what a player he was for Manchester United under Sir Alex Gardner oh Luke Williams come on son conceding a penalty and it's a good opportunity now for West Brom to get their nose in front and they might unless Luke Weiler can get a fingertip to this turn it around the post come on let's concede a corner not a goal Gardner steps up oh Luke Wider went the right way but he was beaten by Craig Gardner they are in the lead the baggers do we deserve to be trailing I'm not I'm not too sure I'm not convinced I think these highlights that we're seeing at the moment we're setting ourselves out not just nicely we're doing well Oh, Campbell is found. Jerome, it's 3 1. Oh, no way. It's not looking good, is it? It is not looking good at all. There were appeals for offside. We've got a couple of players over there at the, the linesman. The referee lucky to break things up. Luke Williams on a yellow card. Gonna have to think about making a change soon. Fletcher, look at the gap. Was it offside? Let's have a look. Jerome slowly does it. Oh. Is he offside? No, he's just onside, isn't he? Jerome slots that into the bottom corner. 
Luke Weiler being let down by his defenders there. He's like a sieve. He managed to get through so easily. Luke Weiler pumping the ball at the field. Good header from James Collins to bring that down. Williams, oh, he was looking for Clark. It was a poor pass. And now West Brom on the break. Look at the space here for Campbell. Not happy about that. Straight to Luke Weiler though. Paul crossing the end from Juan Fran. Is he the player from Atletico Madrid? We'll have to check that out. We've got the ball again. As we're on the attack. Come on. Still plenty of time. Clark can get things moving for Town. He does. He finds Tootle. It's Collins. Yes. 3-2. We're back in it. We can go and get another goal now. Come on. Forget celebrating. Go and pick up the ball. Let's restart. It's a good ball from Clark over the top to find Tootle. And what a cross. Full of quality to find Collins. Foster did save first time, but he couldn't stop that from going in in the end. Players looking tired. Might have to take, yeah, I'll take off Luke Williams. He's got an average rating of 6.1. That's poor. I'll bring on Junior Brown. Let's see what he can bring to the side. I think I might... Oh, I did I did have Adam Reach, didn't I? Shall I br I'll bring on Adam Reach. What am I thinking? <laughs> I'll leave Junior Brown out. We'll bring on Adam Reach. It's a brilliant sub to make that. He's had such a good start to his career. It's just unfortunate that he had to be injured for two to three weeks and miss all those games against Watford and Sunderland. But what a return it could be for him if he does make an impact here. Cole finds Collins. Oh, what a save from Foster. A oh, West Brom really suffering now. So they're on the back foot. Having to really lock up shot. Where's O? Oh, what a ball to Clark. In space, take your time. Oh, I has to pump it back out to Wes. Come on, to the left. Oh, he's cut out by Wanfran. And we cut out Wanfran's pass. Come on, Cole, get to that. Well done. Great determination. Tootle again. Let's have a, another cross. Yes! Oh, my God. Yes! 3-3. Three, three. What a game this is turning out to be. What a comeback from Shrewsbury Town. Oh, fantastic. The scenes, Tootle. What, what a cross from him. Him and Collins just destroying that right side as we've done in previous fixtures. Brilliant. We've got 10 minutes to go. We might be able to get a winner here. Let's encourage the players. Five minutes. It's going to go into extra time. Can we get a winner though? That's Darren Fletcher on a yellow card for West Brom. Two minutes added on and we are going into extra time. Of course we are. When we've got Brentford coming up very soon in the league. We need players looking fit and fresh for that game. So I might sacrifice the likes of Cole or maybe Jordan Clark. Maybe even James Collins who has picked up a hat trick here today. Uh, I'm, ju I'm just thinking what's more important. Going through to the next round of the Capital One Cup or our position in the championship. It's got to be our position in the league, hasn't it, really? If we want to be getting promoted to the Premier League come the end of the season, we're going to need our important players fresh, fully fit for games like the Brentford one coming up on the weekend. So let's see how we can get on here in this uh, first period of extra time. Black to Collins. He's on a hat-trick. Campbell... Out to Russell. Oh, come on. Take it off Wanfran. Who's... Oh, come on. I was just about to say Wanfran's been poor today for West Brom. But he's just bagged his first goal of the season. And what a finish it was. What a finish. Russell found him perfectly. Wanfran put under a bit of pressure. Let's just change the... Uh... Oh, screw it. You could see it perfectly from that. But Juan Fran showed his experience there, kept cool, picked out that top corner. Even though he was put under significant amount of pressure from Mickey. It's a shame that. 4-3. And that's going to be the end of the first period of extra time. Let's make a change now. Right, shall I take off? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave Collins on. 
Let's bring on Goburn. I don't want Black getting a red card. There we go. Just leave the team as it is now. I don't want to change my defence too much. Campbell. He's already scored a worldie. It's 5-3. Yeah, 5-3. Johnny Russell with the goal. I thought for a second it was going to be offside. Oh, what a shame. We've let ourselves down here. What performance, though, from town. And they're not surely going to get a sixth. No, no, we can't allow that. Brunt. Straight into the hands of Luke Weiler. Come on. Get the attack going. Can we get back in this game? Out to Reach. Finds him perfectly. But Reach can't find someone like Collins. Cole. Come on, look at Goburn. Turn. There you go, he's found him. Goburn. Cole. Cole's gone for a goal and he's found it. Come on. It's 4-5. Oh, my God. Just one more goal. One more goal and we're taking this into penalties. And that will give us a brilliant opportunity of going through to the fourth round. What a finish from Cole. Let's just rewind that. Change the uh, the camera angle. I want to see that. Did he hit that on the outside of his boot? I think he did. Turns on it. Oh, look at that. That's just pure quality. It's probably the best goal of this game. Or would you say Campbell's goal was? Let me know in the comments below what you think it is. Are we going to get maybe a last flurry of attack from town? Oh, keep that in. He should be keeping that in there and whipping it in. And that is full time. We are out of the Capital One Cup, unfortunately. But wow, we showed such spirit in this game. 5-4. What a game as well. Just under 10 goals scored overall. Can't knock the players. Cannot knock them. They were brilliant against a team that were in the Premier League. As I said in the previous episode, I think it would be West Brom that are going to put more of a challenge than uh, Sunderland and, and Watford. And they, they've done that here today. You know, it's been so good to have this opportunity to measure ourselves up against those three teams all in one week. And it's certainly given me a good idea of how well we can perform against, you know, the smaller teams that, that have come down from the Premier League that are in the Premier League if we are to get promoted come the end of this season the team have just performed so well and with every game that we play now it's it's becoming more and more obvious that I made the right decisions in the transfer window brought in the uh, the right type of players that we needed and you know these new players they've come in and they've settled so quickly and you know actually I'm, at, I'm more impressed by the players that were already here last season that were playing in League One with how they've handled the pressure coming up to the championship, how they've really stepped up to the plate and they are putting in some incredible performances. They've reacted well to my tactics with the way I want the team playing and hopefully we can continue performing this way for that chunk of games that I'm going to go and play off camera now. When I come back for the next episode, I will probably do a live comp of either the Sheffield Wednesday game at home or even that one against Fulham. Exciting times ahead, folks. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you all soon for the next one.